Okay, I'm doing my video today on my other wash and go method. Right now, I'm about to hop in the shower and wash my hair and clean up for today, clean up for today. But um, I got my hair in two sections to start off with. This one section, this is the other section. I like to shampoo my hair in two so I can get in there like that. But usually when I apply the conditioner and uh, break it down, I uh, section it. I end up sectioning it in four. Um, today I will be using um, shampoo. I will be shampooing my hair. Um, I don't know what conditioner I'm gonna use yet. I'm gonna use the either the Diva Care conditioner or maybe the Tresemme one. It just depends on whatever's in the shower. Whatever's in the shower is what I'm gonna use. But um, I'll come back and show you guys how I prep my hair afterwards. Okay, hi guys, I'm in my bathroom, and I'm sorry, it has a light in here that makes a lot of noise, so I can't help that, but I'm going to get on with it and show you guys how I do this. Um, I have my Eco Stella here, that's the gel I'm going to use today, and I have my water bottle. Um, I like to put cold water in my water bottle, so it is still my cuticle, so I'm going to use some really cold water and put it in here. Sometimes if I have time, I even like put my water bottle in the freezer for a little bit just so um, it can get even colder. Uh, water bottle. And basically, I just do it section by section. I'm going to start with this side first. I think side is together. I just got out of the shower to do my hair. It has, been, it, it has already been detangled. This is my curl definition but I get it all like the fine and stuff like this after I finger comb it and after I put the conditioner in like when I'm putting shampoo in my hair my curls are not this defined at all but after I put some conditioner in it and finger comb it it'll get more defined and I can't just leave my hair like this because I get to draw out draw up big time. Um, what I think I'm also using this today since I'm using the eco styler is some oil. I'm trying to find my oil real quick because I use the uh, I use the Shea Moisture. I use the Shea Moisture after my ink cell gel is dry. Hold on one second. Here, the gel. But I'm gonna start by spraying my hair a little bit more. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, I'm right. Oh yeah, I can't forget the leave in. <laughs> And this is the leave-in conditioner I use. It's the generic Paul Mitchell Dutch conditioner, which you can get from Sally's. So, spray my hair a little bit with water. I'm gonna put in my leave-in conditioner. About that much. Just put that on my hair, focus on the ends closely. Then I probably put a little bit of oil up here. Just a little dollop like that. And then I'm gonna get a big block of the Eco Styler, like that. And I'm probably just gonna use that for like part of this. So I go ahead and fluff that on. And like at the beginning, I do like a lot of raking just to get the product distributed through. And raking is when I'm just taking my fingers and going through it. Also, it helps if you don't have like snagged fingernails because with the snagged fingernails, it'll pull at your hair. But I keep my fingernails pretty short so it don't snag. So this stuff right here, I'm just mostly raking. generous with it. 
one thing about the gel, it has a lot of slip, so it makes it easy for you to go through. And so then what I do, I'm breaking it up and I'm taking it through sections. I'm breaking it a little bit. I even might even get, I might even get a little bit more gel, like that, just a little bit more. And I'm basically just smoothing it on down, breaking it a little bit more, and eventually I'm going to smooth it. So now I'm going to start smoothing it to where it just looks straight. You see that? It just looks straight. But what's going to end up happening is that it's going to curl up. So I'm going to just leave it like this and go on to the next one. I rake it through it first. And then eventually I'm going to smooth it. Smoothing is going to be the last thing I do. It's still raking because I don't feel like I got everything. And so, now I'm doing a little bit of gel. Let me wipe my hand first though. Because I hate when hair is all in the product. Now I'm going to do a little bit of gel, just a little bit. And I'm going to smooth it in now. Where it basically looks straight. And I just continue on until I get all of them. And now I'm going to work on this. And I'm actually very gentle with my hair. I'm not, it looks like I might be I might be being rough, but I'm not really that rough with my hair. I'm actually quite gentle. This one I'm gonna add a little bit more gel. I'm gonna rake a little bit more on this one because I feel it's still not quite as detangled as the roots as I want it to be. about to smooth it. And just straight. And then this is like my last piece I have to do right here. gel in places where you feel it's not coated at. And so now I'm about to smooth. So basically smoothing is the last thing I do. You see that's what it looks like. It looks kind of stiff, look kind of hard right now, but um, when it starts to dry, it'll break apart. Uh, and then also, it will be hard, but that's why I use the Shea Moisture for to soften it. Wipe it off my hands real quick. And then also this gets some of your shed hair out too. So you will have some hair that probably come on your hands, but it's your shed hair. And I use the Shea Moisture when this dries. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do this side so you guys can see it. Water. Oh yeah, and also you should spray this again too. You hey, want your hair kind of wet when you do this. I'm gonna leave it in. Bushy, my hair is here. I distribute that in. I'm going to 
little bit of olive oil in it. I don't put a lot of olive oil, just a little bit, because remember I put the shape up, the shape moisture in um, later when it dries. That's going to moisture it up, give it a lot of moisture. probably work better for people who have a tighter curl pattern than I do because I know with a tighter curl pattern we should love the equal style too. And uh, this should work for you guys. And also it'll work for loose curl patterns too. You just have to have a backup product like the um, shave moisture to solve it. I just hate the only thing I hate about Kiko Fella Channel is that it makes your hair fall over. But with the Shea Moisture, you know, that can work with it. And I put a little bit on my roots up here just so I can have that display flat. Now I'm about to start now smoothing, as you see. And it just looks like my hair is just straight. But what's going to happen is it's going to curl back up because it's just what our hair do is going to curl. But it's going to give us the least amount of shrinkage, you know, that you can have when you do it like this. I'm not going to shake this a little bit though. Let's break up a little bit more. Now move to the next section. 